So on trends, we released this on Tuesday. Two things were interesting that our guys found, or Steph and our guys, so men and women found, um, <laughs> which we only have two people. So, uh, so your guy and gal found that. Two things. Uh, I'm, I'm like thinking about all of it. Uh, first, everyone talks about meditation being like the most popular, like being a, a huge trend right now. Um, people searching for sleep is actually significantly more like right. s- like sleep products and not and, and this makes total sense because calm well, i'm a subscriber to calm they're, sleep they're, stories they're they're pushing sleep like crazy yeah sleep stories i think was the breakout product for the breakout feature for that's calm. crazy and so i didn't realize this until they like pointed it out and then i'm like oh yeah that does make sense sleep is way bigger than meditation and meditation is huge sleep is also um a lot of people search for it because, um, uh, so for meditation, you're trying to teach a new habit. Sleep, everybody does. Also for sleep, a lot of people have problems sleeping. So they will actively search for and pay for solutions that will help them sleep. I, I pay for a bunch of them. I pay for uh, What's your a, sleep? an Alexa app called uh, Nature Sounds. And they have like 26 sounds. And I pay extra money to combine them. So my the one I sleep to is Winter Railroad. And so, what does, that, what does a, that sound like? It's a train. <laughs> it's a train going through the mountains in winter. <laughs> What's the winter part? What is the sound of winter? You hear like wind. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I feel like you shared something very personal there. I love it. Winter great. railroad. I, use that last your... I go Alexa, play nature sounds, or sometimes I'll do ship in winter because it sounds like an icebreaker, and then Alexa, turn off in twenty minutes. And that's Dude, this I... is also like one of these, um, you know, hackathon projects where some developers like, okay, watch this. Just say two words. <laughs> and I go search the internet for sounds, and I smash them together, and it makes an audio thing. Yeah, like, like this should, at Furcon's next hackathon, they should build this. Like, uh, I don't even know what it could be. Like, chickens in right. China Street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and what, what happens to Sarah? She doesn't like, does she like the same sound? Yeah, sounds? she's down with it. Okay. She's down with it. Um, so, so do you take any sleep aids, like pro- like, a, like a, a vitamin or supplement or CBD or something like melatonin. that? Melatonin. Melatonin? Yeah. Um, does that work, help? or? Yeah, it does. Um, if I really can't sleep, I'll take one of those Una. Did my computer die? I think it died. One of my um, Una Una gel. Is that what it's called? Unisoft. It's a. It's basically like a mild dosage of uh, Nyquil without the medicine part. Oh, that's good. So yeah, okay. So it's the way some people take Nyquil just to sleep, and so this yeah. is the just to sleep part. It's just I don't e- have a cough. <laughs> yeah, it's just a light version. You don't take that stuff. Uh, I, uh, I heard this phrase today. I could sleep in a ditch. Uh, so I just, when I would decide to go to sleep, I instantly fall asleep and I do not wake up at night, um, ever. And so I'm blessed. You, I am typically like that as well, but not as bad. Um, there's this guy that we should profile. He, um, he, uh, he's a Japanese billionaire or sorry, uh, Chinese billionaire. And he started, a. a, a so he, he's a he's a big shot now, and he owns like half a bank and all this other shit. And he got rich by creating a melatonin. He just took melatonin and rebranded it and made it sexy and called it a sleep aid and right. whatever. It got huge, and then he launched the Zynga of China, um, and he ended up buying like the building that they lived in, just like Zynga, and yep. the, or that they worked in, and it became this huge thing. We'll have to do. I'll have to bring him up because I love him because he's reckless and he's built a fortune and lost it all like three times. Right? Yeah, you love that. I love those guys. <laughs> um, Okay, and then we also talked about uh, do-it-yourself perfume. Uh, so apparently, that's a huge community is do-it-yourself perfume, and there's not a ton of companies in the space. So what's ha- what's happening? What are these people trying to do? They okay, they don't so, want to buy perfume; they want to mix their own at home. Yeah. So basically, perfume is a huge business. Um, Paris Hilton. A lot of people forget about her. She has sold roughly five billion dollars of her perfume. Cycling back to the porn conversation earlier. Okay, Paris Hilton. Yes. Yes, and. Let's say her stuff costs a hundred dollars, which it doesn't. It, it's typically ninety percent margin. Yeah, incredible. So huge fat margins, and everyone now knows this. Um, and so the idea here is that people are trying to make their own perfume at home, and it's got there's a lot of sub uh, subreddits around it, a lot of communities who discuss different perfume like how to create your own perfume but there aren't too many companies that are making it easy to make your own perfume and formulas and things like that dude that makes a lot of sense um this is like one of those industries where when you hear about the winner later you're like oh okay it was set up for success so for example warby parker you know uh, one of the reasons warby parker worked so well was that the existing eyewear eyeglass you know industry was all 
owned by this one conglomerate Exotica. that had price pricing power and was marking shit up like crazy. So they didn't have to like invent something to lower the price. They just had to not be greedy and be like, okay, yeah, we can offer this at a fair price and still have margin. And so, um, and Do so you own Cologne. I own Cologne. And um, so what you're saying is basically Cologne vastly marked up in the same way razors are super marked up and Dollar Shave Club came in. But instead of somebody just making a Dollar Shave Club version of Cologne, they're giving you a DIY kit. And then there's like probably Reddit communities of home brewers uh, for perfume. Yeah, it's actually pretty great. And there's um, an infinite number of recipes and scents. So you're going yeah, to try a bunch. Is if you took it a step further, an interesting sense could be sold already. Yeah, so you could create a marketplace where you could sell yours. Yep. To, just even to your own friends and family. You could create a kit for people to do this and make a better kit. I'm sure there's one that exists. Well, another idea, you know, we, we were talking about kid stuff earlier. Um, like my niece would love to mix her own perfume. She would, that would be like a great afternoon. And my, my sister would buy her, you know, this little kid friendly perfume making kit. Um, and it's like one of the arts and crafts things that she gets, gets to do. And she makes it. And everyone who comes over, she gets to show him, show her, show them their yeah, perfume. Into that. I think you could do this for kids and it and would be a big deal. Here's another angle that we found in trends is soap. Do it yourself. Soap. Mm -hmm. Big thing. People want to make their own soap. And, uh, what was the third one? Uh, um, juice, but we already know, know that that's right. Juicing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it was pretty perfume. great. I like that. I would have never known about that. That's uh, pretty fascinating to me. In fact, I'm going to tell my sister to start this business with the DIY perfume for kids. 